we probably should, given that it apparently has now become a routine part of the show that we talk about our opinions on Love Island, available to watch in the Virgin Media Player. Um, and the departure in last night's episode at the time of recording of Jax O'Neill who apparently has already showed back up at his old rugby league club to go in and say hello and think about maybe going back to training um, but it does raise Zara the whole question of um, the mental health of participants in reality TV and some of the aftercare that there is not even aftercare in fact you know mm. mid care the, the care that is available to them while they're on the programme as well as afterwards Yeah so we spoke about this today so it was obviously the situation with Love Island last night where Jax uh, was clearly very distressed by uh, Adam Collard making a comeback to Love Island and, and sort of coming in and making a play for, for his not girlfriend but the girl he was interested in Paige but I suppose like the broader issue was around I suppose we, we kind of said ourselves watching it it was quite distressing to see how upset he was and clearly you know he was going through something and it was sort of unfolding maybe on you know on national international yeah. television even um, so we had a look at Love Island's uh, duty of care protocols and interesting to see that uh, in a statement they say that ahead of this series contributors on the show will be offered video training and guidance covering inclusive language around disability sexuality race ethnicity behaviours and microaggressions. Now, I thought the microaggressions point was interesting. So mm. they're given a lot of insight into kind of what to expect in the situation and they're sort of being, um, I suppose, schooled or trained in how to manage it. Also, crucially as well, um, they're offered comprehensive psycholo psychological support, training for all islanders on the impacts of social media and handling of potential negativity, training for islanders uh, in terms of financial management, it goes on, a proactive aftercare package which extends support to all of the islanders following their participation on the show and we're told that they get around eight therapy sessions minimum when they okay. leave the show but I suppose it was just we kind of felt I think looking at it last night that he was you know clearly going through something in that moment I, I'll, I'll be honest that I was conflicted in watching it because I had to, to watch it back because with the confidence vote and everything else I was very late catching all up with it and it, it was almost for a while like I thought there was a scene missing because the, mm. the transition between him getting aggressive at Adam showing up and beginning to get close to Paige more comfortable than he was uh, he was happy with and then suddenly the transition to him being a bit miserable and saying that he didn't feel himself and that he was thinking about leaving and then ultimately leaving. It seemed like the transition between them wasn't very well articulated. Now, to be fair, I can imagine that maybe if there have been some other signs along the way that he was having a rough time, that you wouldn't automatically air them because if they weren't germane to any storytelling purpose, that there was no point in airing them. And that maybe then the show only has to address them on air when it's come to a tipping mm. point and he's going to leave. Um, I think we have to be careful as well. And look, we're mindful that there is someone who's having you know, it was clearly having a difficult time, somebody who has ADHD, so they already would find it difficult being in that kind of intense environment. Mm. You you have to show them some sympathy and, and wish them the best in their departure, but also hold them accountable and not give them a free pass for some of the more toxic or aggressive behaviour. The behaviour was the behavior wasn't all right, Richard, was it? There, was, no. there were things that went on there that were probably weren't all right. No, there, there were, and this is a problem. This is actually, and like, I have no problem saying this. I don't really care. And I, like, people probably think that we were advertising Love Island there all the amount of times we plugged it all the way over to the show. But I have, this is about the time where I lose interest in Love Island every, every year, mm -hmm. where there is a moment like this that comes where you see stuff which is a little bit too aggressive or it's a little bit too close to the bone, or you see someone's mental health start to fray a little bit, and you're like, who is this for? What's, what's happening here? I don't know. I don't know if, I, if this is entertainment for me anymore. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, with Jax, it seemed like he'd crossed the line a few times. There was a lot of aggression towards other Islanders. It was a bit over the top, sort of love bombing of Paige, I felt as well, mm -hmm. which is a problem. Um, just very erratic and I do feel like I felt like watching the, the episode where he, um, he left it did feel like we'd seen a bit just a, a guy just completely collapsing in on himself in the middle of it and, 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 and for all yeah. of our amusement and it was very unfortunate as well that it does leave Paige then in that very awkward situation because the natural assumption is if he says right I'm now going outside to get my head in order and I'll be waiting for you when all of this is finished that, it, that then, I think it put, that was very it puts a big yeah. burden then on the other partner in, in the relationship such as it is but she did not she reciprocate leave. at all in that moment at no point did she say great yeah thank like I can't wait to see yeah. it like I mean I think it was very clear sort of from her behaviour that she yeah. definitely wasn't comfortable with some of what was said in, in that. Well, we hope he gets what, whatever um, support is made available to him and that it's it's adequate for whatever his needs are. And uh, we wait to see exactly whether Paige says about that. The look ahead suggests that Paige and Adam may have a future. Bye.